I have watched a lot of YouTube in my time. As you can see here, I'm getting like 60 hours a week. And I don't really know how that number is recorded exactly because I watch all my videos on almost three times speed. So um, you could definitely divide that by three or so and that might be a little bit more accurate. And I always listen to things as well. So that might boost or bolster my numbers up quite a bit. Um, but I've never really been one to comment, despite how much I watch. I'll drop a like, I'm subscribed, but that's pretty much it. In fact, I've only left a little over 200 comments over 12 years here. So I have a few goals here, and I don't really know if they're too far reaching, but I want to get one comment that has at least a thousand likes. I want to get a heart from a creator um, that is not someone I know. And I also want to have someone leave a reply to my comments saying, oh, I'm seeing you everywhere. You're appearing everywhere. And so we'll see if that's possible within a week. Um, without further ado, let's get through the first day here. It's definitely an interesting challenge where I am thinking about the videos I'm watching way more. It's like, well, I don't really want to watch this stupid one-off video because I don't want to put in the effort to write a comment, especially if the video is really old and no one's going to see it anyways. So in a certain regard, my curiosity is being stunted a little bit where the immovable object and the unstoppable force are colliding. And I thought I was the unstoppable force, but I can definitely be stopped by making watching YouTube videos feel like a job. So it's certainly weird so far feeling like, oh, no, I don't really want to care about it too much or like almost over something and just like let the preview go and be like, oh, okay, that like satisfy me enough to watch. It's certainly true that you just got to get in there early and say really the easiest joke as you can. Uh, as you can see right here, someone basically wrote the same joke as I did. They just wrote the simpler version. We commented at essentially the same time. So I guess rule number one for YouTube comments is just like write something as dumbed down as you can and something that is not even, you don't have to be unique or original. Just write something that you think other people would want to write. And then those people will like your comment because you're like, yeah, yeah, it's not that it's funny. It's that that's what I was going to say. And I'm thinking I'm awesome. So you just got to write the same thing, I guess. I'm definitely watching a lot less videos and I kind of feel myself not necessarily running into steam, but like going eh, weighing the decision of like writing something stupid, then just watching it. Um, but knowing it will be seen, so there's that internal debate going on. I could definitely see continuing this in the future, but just on stuff that has been published like within the last hour, where I think people would see the comment, or maybe on things that are just beginning to be recommended again. It does kind of feel like it's pointless to write a comment if no one's going to see it. Um, there haven't really been a lot of times where I'm like, Oh, I want to write something just because that's how I feel and that's how I want the person who made the video to know. Like, I'm writing the comments for the other commenters or people who would give it likes. I guess, like, the likes are the incentive and not necessarily the message. So that does feel weird sometimes, like, forcing myself to write these. But I'm definitely watching less videos, even still. And, uh,. I got my highest rated comment today at like 550 or something, so that's halfway to a thousand, and that's pretty good. Um, well, it'll be hard to tell if I can get further than that. I think it really just depends. It's gotta get there early on a big channel and say something just generic enough. One thing that I will not ever do is really reply back to any of the comments unless it feels warranted, I guess. Um, because there's no use in talking about anything on the internet because no one's ever really going to understand. So I'll just let people say what they want and, uh, you know, they can be right and I can be right and it's fine. But that's a big takeaway from today. Um, but <laughs> entertaining at the very least.
my YouTube watching has really been put on hold. I am just adding everything to the watch later, and then only if I'm catching myself slipping am I going to do videos or I'll then have to eventually just drop a comment, and the comments I've gotten lazier. I'm just writing eggy waggies under videos, and woo yeah, under songs and stuff. So, I've, I've learned a decent bit from this actually, but I am... I'm slowing down, I'm powering down here. So yeah, it was a fun journey. I did enjoy commenting on stuff sometimes, and I think I will continue to do that. We reached a half out of the three goals. We got to 500 likes on one thing, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, it's really all just luck and timing. It seems like you can really write almost anything generic enough and people will enjoy it, but um, still cool to get some recognition on your little wise words you write down and um i think my favorite part was definitely getting some replies from creators that i followed for a while i definitely have known i've reached out to people before just like give a compliment or say that they've inspired me and it can be certainly discouraging to not see any sort of reply and obviously they get bazillions of those but um it was really neat to see people reply and comment on stuff that i wrote um, and I think that's like kind of why I liked YouTube for our, so long is that there's like a way more of a, a connection between the creator and the viewer. So that was really neat to see um, and get some, you know, people replying back to my stuff. Um, it's really weird to think that there's other people on the other side of the screen that just aren't in the videos, but you know, they were, they were touching the keyboard and just sending the words right over to me. And so that was really neat. And if you have a creator you really do enjoy, I'd say go for it and leave a comment. And uh, you know, best thing that could happen is that they write back to you and you get to see what they say. Um, and that feels pretty cool as a viewer. Um, I'm sure it feels even better as someone making the video. Um, I definitely like seeing the comments on all the random stuff I've made for the past 20 days or so here. So drop a comment. I know I will be in the future. Um, I'm at 400 comments total, so nearly doubled how many comments I've made in 10 years or 12 years in the course of a week. Um, and you can see I even, my watch time is down by 30%. That's like the unstoppable force being stopped by the uh, will to work. So um, overall fun experiment, glad I did it. And you know, say what you wanna say, scream into the void and maybe people will reply back and drop some likes. So that's all from this one. Um, we learned a little bit and I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-ta.